Welcome back to Inside the Heat. During Norris Cole's four years at Cleveland State, he played in 140 games, starting 106, and helped lead his team to 90 wins and one NCAA tournament appearance. As a senior, he was named the Horizon League's Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year. But with his college life now behind him, Norris was ready for the next chapter in his life. That would begin in June of 2011, the night of the NBA draft, where Cole's dream was about to come true. It was a special night, and one Cole wanted to share with his special people, his family. We were at our home. He said he wanted the people who had always been there, you know, to be there and want to keep it kind of small. Small is relative when you talk about our family. The place was already packed. I had to park down the street and, and walk a few houses up to get there. But the atmosphere they had, the love that was in that room, I mean, that was great. I had butterflies at first. I tried to stay in the room by myself, but that didn't work. I had to go around and be around my family so I could relax. With the 28th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Chicago Bulls select Norris Cole from Cleveland State University. When they called his name, the house just erupted. I don't know how my roof is still on my house. We all just jumped up and screaming and yelling. And he was just standing right there, and our family was just over there hugging and crying. We had just had a moment of silence, and we did a prayer. Then his cousin said, oh, oh there's something going on. And they said, oh, he's going to the Timberwolves. And then everybody said, OK, you know, we we're happy about that. I don't think 20 seconds went by when they said he's been traded to the Miami Heat. That's when the whole house shook. That was one of the most exciting times in my life as a father, for him to whisper in my ear that everything's gonna be all right from here on in. That was the most feeling moment, even now, when I think about what he said to me. The first round draft pick would have a long summer before he could show off his skills, but that did not keep one of the Heat's leaders from reaching out to him first. We worked out a few times back in Ohio. The contact has been great ever since um, you know, I seen Miami draft for them. Um, you know, I wanted to kind of reach out to him. He can be doing a million other things. And he took his time out to congratulate me, say welcome to the family. He wanted Norris Cole with him to introduce him to the Heat culture, the Heat philosophy, and really what it takes to make that jump from the college to the pro game. It was finally time for Norris to show South Florida what he was all about at the red and black scrimmage held for Heat season ticket holders. Norris Cole drilling the three. I want you to express it, right? Ten minutes into it, Norris Cole stole the show. That was his coming out party for 9,000 season ticket holders at American Airlines Arena. And it was on the big stage on Christmas Day in his first ever NBA game where Norris Cole's dreams finally came to fruition. Norris has gone full circle. He said granddaddy bought him that rim on Christmas, and he's playing in his first professional basketball game on Christmas. Cole knocked down and count the basket for the rookie. Showing no fear here in his first NBA action. However, Norris's true coming out party was two days later in the Heat's home opener against Boston. Cole scored 14 of his 20 points in the fourth quarter, including some clutch shots in the closing moments. They was kicking it to me, I was open. You know, the shot was rolling, and it was just one of those nights where it went in every time. Out to Cole, stop and pop. Cole puts it in. Cole, dribble drive inside, runner, got it. Oh, the kid looks so cool. We knew we had a gem in him, so, um, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, obviously, to take those shots and not be afraid of the moment. Cole, step in, jump shot, got it again. Oh, the kid is stone cold. Without Norris Cole in his first home game as a true professional, at American Airlines Arena, the Heat don't win that game. Uh, for lack of a better word, I felt really, really proud that he had worked himself into that position. Nobody gave him anything. What we like about Norris uh, is that he's a very mature basketball player. When he gets in to the open court, he changes the pace of the game immediately. Cole with the steal, racing with Fields, back to LeBron. Great pass. Oh, very good, very quick, very strong, and he's a competitor. What I'm impressed with the most is that the guy has heart, and he's tough as nails. I see a long, I mean, long career for him because, you know, you can't do without a great point guard. Cole! Got it! And the foul! It's 
sky is kind of the limit for Norris Cole. That's what the Heat have said ever since draft night, that this kid's ceiling, they don't know where it is. I think you're going to see that in the next two or three years. Only thing I think about is proving to myself and proving to this team that I can help this team in a good role and help us win the championship. Norris Cole has quickly made an impact and an impression with Miami, and he uses his quickness on both ends of the court and has brought energy and production off the Heat bench. He is one of the fastest players in the NBA, and his speed thrills Heat fans and startles opponents. Who knows, maybe one day soon we'll all see that green monster Colemobile driving through Miami. But for now, we enjoy watching Norris Cole drive to the basket as a rookie point guard on a championship-seeking team. Thank you for watching Inside the Heat. I'm Eric Reed.